Hi everyone, this is Julia from Teacher Julia at Teachers Pay Teachers. Today I wanted to share with you some books that I got at the bookstore yesterday. I would say that the age range is about higher level fourth grade to about sixth or seventh grade. The three different piles I have here are, this pile is more I would categorize as life in middle school, focuses on some challenges there. These are my nonfiction books that I got and a couple of mysteries that my students enjoyed last year by this author, so I figured I'd get some more for this year. Um, starting off with the middle school pile, as I call it, is a book called Penny from Heaven by Jennifer Holm. And this is about a girl growing up in 1953. Her, um, her life is full of challenges. You know, her mom's worried that she can't go swimming in the swimming pool because she might get polio to um, other challenges such as um, wanting to do all these things that her mom won't let her, basically. Um, her dog is sick. Her favorite uncle's living in a car. Her best friend is turning into a criminal. And the biggest thing I think that this book is going to be kind of based around is the fact that she doesn't know how her father died and nobody is really telling her the truth about that. So I got this one because I teach between, I teach about American history, um, starting with World War II and kind of ending at the civil rights movement. And so I think this book's going to connect a lot with the learning I'm doing in my classroom. This book is called Queen of Likes by Hilary Homsey, H-O-M-Z-I-E. This book I got because from what I understand just by reading the back, which is kind of hard to understand, I think you need to kind of get into it a little bit more. I looked at it on Amazon too, but what I um, imagine is this book is about a girl who is all over social media with her friends, you know, Instagram, Snapchat, they have different names for it in the book, but all about you know, how many likes she can get. And then she's punished by her parents and isn't allowed to have her technology anymore. And so the challenges of that, and then what I imagine is that the book goes into, um, you know, how important are those likes on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And I got this book because I started to notice that at the end of fifth grade, students were starting to really get into social media. I know some fifth graders are well into it when they come, you know, when they go get into fifth grade. And so I think this would be good for any teacher to share with their students who are valuing, you know, those likes on social media rather than real life. This book is called Pay It Forward by Katherine Ryan Hyde. This is a book about a student who was assigned to do a good deed and then finds out that he's that um, but I think what he does is he tells, he does a good deed for three people and tells them to do a good deed for someone else. And he ends up changing the world in some way. And I think that he's invited to Washington to meet the president. And I got this book because I teach my students all about kindness at the beginning of the year as part of our community building. And um, I actually give them a, a, an assignment about doing a good deed. And so the connections there... Um, are plenty and I'm excited to share that with my class. Um, this book is called The Swap by Megan Scholl. This one I thought would be funny. Um, a boy and a girl are growing, you know, growing up in, they're in middle school right now and their body, they, they switch bodies. And so the boy ends up experiencing the problems the girl is having and the girl ends up experiencing problems that the boy is having and they start to appreciate each other in a different way. And I think end up having some empathy for each other. So I think this is this will be a good one for students to read on their own. Um, the last in this pile is called The 14th Goldfish by Jennifer Holm, which I'm, I just realized. Oh, no, sorry. Yep, Penny from Heaven is also by her. Okay, so this book my students were reading on their own in the classroom. They brought it from home and really, really enjoyed it. So... I ended up getting it for my class this year. Um, it's about a girl who never likes change. She misses fifth grade and her best friend, you know, the typical, you know, middle school problems that these characters are facing. So these are all the books in the middle school pile.
Over here in the nonfiction pile, I found this awesome book, Steve Jobs, written um, for young adults, which I think is great because my students were really interested in him throughout the years, and this will be a really good uh, biography for them to read. I am Mala. Of course, I'm sure most of you have heard of her, How One Girl Stood Up for Education and Changed the World. Um, this book, one of my students read on her own last year, she brought it from home and she said that I should get it for my students this year. So that's what I did. This book is 50 Unbelievable Women and Their Fascinating and True Stories. So when I am teaching about World War II, I want to get, and, and even in the civil rights, I want to get more into the women's rights um, more than I have in the past. And so I think this book will tie in nicely with that. Biography of LeBron James. I think that will be good for students to read by Matt Christopher. And this I found for a dollar, so I couldn't pass it up. This is Albert Einstein. Comes with some drawings, so I think this will be fun for students to read on their own. Those are my nonfiction titles. And then the mysteries. John Grisham started writing children's books. I'm not sure how long ago, but I just discovered them last year. This one is called The Abduction. This one is where a um, best friend, April, so Theo's best friend, April, disappears, and he needs to find her. And then this one's called The Fugitive, and the character's on a trip to Washington, D.C., and on the Metro, he sees this person that everybody's looking for. I got this one out of all the ones that were there because I take my students to Washington, D.C. in February, and I thought that that would be a fun thing to read or have them read, or maybe I'll read to them, I'm not sure. But anyway, John Grisham, awesome children's mystery writer. So these are the books I got for my library to add into my library this school year. I got more from the Salvation Army, which is another great place to shop. Our school was given um, money this year as part of the fundraiser was um, Part of the fundraiser was to donate to our reading fund, and so I have a little bit more money this year to spend on books than usual. So excited about that, and I'm excited to share these with my students um, coming up in August. You can always learn more about my classroom at my blog, teacherjuliasroom.com. Of course, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel I have. And you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook and, of course, TeachersPayTeachers.com. Thank you.